it up. <laughs> we are all in this together. <laughs> Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the Kamala Clown Show, which is actually difficult to say. Just try it a few times. Uh, stick around and listen. The Kamala Clown Show. Uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, I mean, uh, obviously we've been talking a lot about Donald Trump, and I think it's wonderful. Recently, RFK uh, Jr. has joined, joined, Elon Musk has joined uh, the Trump campaign, and, uh, you know, Tulsi Gabbard as well. So you've got the Justice League over there, but there is some other group, you know, involved in the U.S. election, and that is, or used to be uh, Joe Biden, but he uh, stepped down after his disastrous um, debate with Donald Trump. So we've got Kamala Harris, um, who is, uh, as Sam Newman says, the cackling idiot, cackling fool. I mean, you know, if you go and listen to uh, the podcast uh, I do uh, with Sam Newman, uh, you can't be serious. Uh, and he uh, describes, I don't think there's any better person that destroyed Kamala Harris than him. Um, but yeah, she's a, she's a cackling hyena. Uh, I think that's a good summary. Uh, you know, and um, a slobbering fool. And, um, you, know, uh, you know, she is. I mean, you just listen to her talks. Online, you know, she, she sort of talks in, in riddles like, you know, like, oh, you know, today is tomorrow and tomorrow is today and next week will be yesterday. And, you know, like, what the hell are you talking about? She talks in these kind of riddles that are almost attempts that almost to be philosophical, but they're just pure stupidity. Um, you know, you know, and she uh, she's declared herself um, the nominee. Uh, and also, you know, what happened to Joe Biden? I mean, you know, Joe Biden wanted to run. Even after the debate, he still wanted to run. So it appears to, that he was, uh, you know, pushed out. Um, essentially, uh, he was threatened with, uh, you know, with that um, part of the Constitution that if the president becomes mentally impaired, they can kick him out and, and installing uh, Kamala Harris. So he was threatened with that. So, um, you know, he had, so basically he was told by Obama and the cabal around Obama, which is people like Schumer and stuff like that, that you could, um, you know, leave quietly uh, or, you know, go down fighting, you know, and we'll kick you out. So he decided to leave quietly and handed the torch over to Kamala Harris. There's a new interview she's just done. And she's got her uh, vice president, um, uh, uh, Tim Walls, who's sort of like, you know, um, he's sort of like a, a version of Joe Biden without dementia. You know, like he's a kind of doddering father figure from the Midwest, um, you know, uh, except minus the dementia. So he can actually string a sentence together. But, you know, he's a complete idiot. And, um, uh, you know, in Minnesota, he was putting, uh, you know, like uh, tampons in, um, you know, uh, boys um, bathrooms and he's into that whole transgender bullshit he was all he allowed to be decided uh, to be burnt to the ground during the black lives matter right so he is just as radical as kamala harris but um he looks like a kind of you know white middle class guy so you know he he's had to come along he appears to be somebody um who's there almost as a handler of kamala harris obviously she already has a handler which is her jewish husband who no doubt works for a massage so you know she's got that and then she's got tim walls so, you know, she's got a couple of handlers, and there's this great footage going around of, of Schumer, uh, you know, uh, where you know, he's about to give a press conference, and the Vice President of the United States is behind him, and she's talking to somebody, and he's like, shh, shut up, like that. He turns to her, and she's like, ooh, you know, and she completely obeys him. Why? Because he's in charge, ladies and gentlemen. He's the Penguin, he's Schumer. He's one of the Sabbatean Jews, ladies and gentlemen, in the uh, Biden administration, and there's a whole lot of them. Even though they make up for less than 1% of the population, they hold, I don't know, about 10 major cabinet posts. You've got, you know, Blinken, you got Klein, you know, you've you got uh, Garland, you've got Mayorkas, you've got Yellen. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. You go on and on and on. on. Um, anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Kamala, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, I mean, the DNC itself was, a, you know, a, a definite clown show. You know, they did have some decent celebrities. They had Stevie Wonder and a few people like that, you know, um, you know, come along. So, you know, we all know most of the entertainment industry has been corrupted one way or the other. So, you know, they did have some decent people who came along and, and spoke. Mark Hamill um, from Star Wars is another one. He's clearly gone over to the dark side, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, the Democrats, they know how to put on a decent show. But, you know, I thought Trump really trumped them because at the end of the DNC, he announced that RFK was dropping out of the race and endorsing him. I thought that was a great you know, kind of uh, come back to the DNC. I mean, you know, it's going to be a very interesting election. Um, but, um, you know, Tim Walls is, is, is basically just there to, to hand made her along and hopefully get her over the line, you know. I mean, you know, it, it appears what they're doing with Kamala Harris is they're relying on the uh, cult of personality. 
that they can do a kind of Obama with her, that they can present her as this figure of hope, even though she's the one who's been in power with uh, Joe Biden for the last three and a half years, and she's created the terrible economic situation, the terrible um, inflation situation, the terrible situation with all these wars going on all over the Middle East and the Ukraine. Um, you know, she's responsible for all of this. The, the devast- terrible uh, withdrawal from Afghanistan, it was incredibly embarrassing for the United States. So all this terrible stuff is all on her watch, and yet, she's apparently going to fix things. And if she's going to fix things, why doesn't she do it now? Because she's in government. It's incredibly ridiculous. If the American population buy this, uh, they're even bigger fucking idiots than I um, you know, gave them credit for. So, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's either going to be Trump or the United States is going down the toilet. And that's it. So, you know how those lids are... Because this is... Well, I'm just going to speak, okay? So, this is it. So, you know how those lids on the Starbucks cups, they're white, right? And so if you wear lipstick, they get all over the lid. And so then I find myself in meetings if I'm the only woman, and that's kind of it. So I keep taking the lid off and having my cup out so that I don't have that big lipstick mark on the lid. (laughs) So I said, can we do something about the color of the lid? (laughs) So that was that conversation.